This is our home planet Earth and its satellite, the Moon. Zooming out, and here's our solar system. A bit more, the Milky Way galaxy. And we're a small dot among an infinite number of stars. Now, even farther out, a cluster of galaxies. Dots and swirls in the endless space. Further, there's Laniakea, supercluster. That little dot here is our galaxy. Moving on, Hydra Centaurus supercluster. Huge clusters comprising thousands of galaxies are no more than a speck from here. Next, Pavo Indu supercluster. This is an area 200 million light years wide. We can zoom out until we see the entire observable universe. Each little dot in here actually contains thousands of galaxies and quadrillion stars. Scientists speculate that our universe may look like a bubble, and that bubble might collide with another universe. Yes, other universes could exist. Actually, even a whole infinite number of those. All of them could have appeared after the Big Bang. The collision between them isn't impossible either. At least, it might have happened before. And the proof is here, in the direction of the constellation Eurydinus. This place is called Eurydinus Supervoid. It's about 1 billion light years wide. By comparison, the width of our entire galaxy is only about 100,000 light years. There's absolutely nothing in this place, and it may be a trace from an old collision between our universe and another. Scientists think they were passing by each other. When the distance between them was minimal, the gravitational forces of the bubbles began to pull toward each other, just like two drops of water trying to connect when they're close. But the speed of the universes was too high for them to continue interacting. So the other universe just tore out a piece of our bubble. There might have been about 10,000 galaxies in that void, and all of them were either destroyed or taken over by the other universe. Let's travel to the edge of our universe to see how this collision might have taken place. We're 10 billion light years away from our home. Here, in another galaxy, we see amazing nebulae of different colors and shapes. And if you look in the other direction, there's a huge wall moving at us. All these bright sparks on it are enormous galaxies about to collide with us. But in fact, it's a humongous mirror that only reflects our universe. Here, space-time is distorted and begins to be pulled into another universe at a tremendous speed. The usual law of physics may simply stop working at this point. Gravity may disappear, and with it, all the stars would explode and people on the surface of planets would hang in weightlessness. But if the universes didn't go at a tangent but crashed directly into each other, things would be much scarier. The enormous amount of collision energy would probably cause an incredible explosion. Its force would simply destroy everything in our bubbles. Still, the two bubbles might begin to merge, too. At first, all galaxies at the edge of the universes would be torn apart. But then, the merger would begin. The galaxies would start moving chaotically. They would fly past each other, break apart, collide, and explode. The collision of two galaxies is an accident of enormous proportions. And it might happen to our home quite soon, in space terms. The Andromeda galaxy is heading our way. It's a spiral galaxy about twice the size of ours. And there are about a trillion stars there, which is twice more than in our Milky Way. At the very center of this bright galaxy lurks a dark beast, a black hole. Its weight is two and eight zeros of the sun's mass. Red giants, hundreds of times larger than our sun. Pulsars emitting enormous amount of energy like spotlights. Rogue stars and many large and small black holes. This soup of dangerous objects is moving toward us at 68 miles per second. A trip to New York to Los Angeles at that speed would only take half a minute. The disk of Andromeda can already be seen with the unaided eye on moonless nights. As time goes on, it'll get even bigger. As Andromeda gets closer to us, its gravitational force will begin to stretch the arms of our spiral galaxy. It'll begin to unwind. The stars and planets will lose their orbits. One possible scenario is that an unknown asteroid, or even a dwarf planet from the Andromeda galaxy, will crash into the Earth at an incredible speed. Our planet will explode just like a balloon from this impact. Oh, goody. Another option involves stellar collisions. Our Sun would face another star. The bigger star will slowly begin to consume the smaller one. First, it will steal the light upper layers from it, and then it will eat it just like spaghetti or even like rigatoni. 
When a large star reaches its critical weight, it will burst. This explosion will destroy everything around it, including our solar system. Perhaps the shockwave will even reach other neighboring stars. Yet another scenario is that our solar system will be thrown into dark space. Imagine a tennis ball tied to a rope. You take the rope and spin the ball over your head like a sling. Then you let go of the rope and send the ball flying. This is what will happen to the Sun and all the planets around it. We'll find ourselves in dark and cold space. But life on Earth will not be affected. We'll still have our bright star to keep us warm. The only disadvantage is that all the stars in our night sky will disappear. And the most likely possibility is that the merger of two giant galaxies will have no effect on us at all. The thing is, the distance between stars and planets in space is enormous. So they can all just mix together and form one giant cloud. It would be like shoveling fine sand through a big sieve. The objects won't interact with each other. But the most interesting thing will happen to the black holes in the centers of our galaxies. Right now, there's a dense cluster of stardust and stars around them. As Andromeda and the Milky Way come closer together, they will begin to dance with each other. Gee, will it be the twist or the foxtrot? And when the black holes get close together, they'll begin to swallow all matter around one another. Billions of tons of colored stardust, asteroids, and star particles will fly toward the very center of either black hole. It might seem like this process happens very slowly, but it's an illusion. Super heavy objects like black holes warp the space-time grid, so time is much slower near black holes. And all objects that seemingly stay on the event horizon for weeks or even months are actually long gone. When the black holes finally come together, they merge into one supergiant black hole. But its mass is slightly less than the combined mass of the two dark monsters. Some of their weight is transformed into collision energy. This energy is released so strongly that its waves can be felt in other galaxies. Now, a huge black hole gathers all this dense and hot core of the two galaxies around itself. At some point, the black hole feels full and throws out powerful jets of energy into space. This is called an active galactic nucleus. It's one of the brightest phenomenon in the universe and the most powerful source of electromagnetic radiation ever known. These jets may be more than 5,000 light years long. By comparison, the distance from Earth to the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, is only 4.2 light years. And the explosion that accompanies the jets has the power of 100 supernova explosions. Wow, blows my mind. The blast wave from this event could even reach the edges of a new galaxy, and this outburst would be visible from millions of light years away. Now, there are dense clouds of multicolored dust at the center of merged galaxies. The weight of these clouds is so great that they begin to shrink and take on a round shape. Gradually, they become so heavy that they compress the core and nuclear reactions start inside them. The temperature begins to rise and soon, boom, there's a supernova. It's a veritable fireworks show at the center of the galaxies. Stars erupt from the fog and form new hot worlds. At this point, the arms of the two galaxies that were previously pulled out slowly return to their former shape. The super-heavy center of our galaxy has such a gravitational force that it affects stars and nebula hundreds of thousands of light years away. The galaxy's arms twist again, and we see the new and finished galaxy, the Milkomeda or Milkdromeda. Milkdromeda. Hey, how about the Andromilkimeda way? Blah blah blah. Well, that's hard to say.